Breaking news, we have one of the competitors of tonight's main event match here, right now, live via satellite. Dr. Wrecking Ball, you said you have an important message. Is that the best you do, Classic Kyle? You dirty SOB. You should announce me as the greatest wrestler to ever compete in the 3YMM Wrestling Challenge. Dr. Wrecking Ball. <laughs> I am getting ready. I got my Taylor Swift bump in. And I'm getting ready to make my money go through that curtain and destroy Dylan. Dr. Wrecking Ball, does it worry you at all that Dylan has been training these past few weeks with some top-tier wrestling talent? Short answer, no, it doesn't. I respect Uncle Chase, uh, Hightower, and I love my buddy Crush. But there's no way they could turn that zero to a hero, from that dud to a stud, from, from, from that jabroni to a winner. There's no way. Powerful words. Over to you, Professor Priest. Gone. I said he was gone in the first season. I fired his ass. He's a pathetic piece of shit. He has no business doing anything for us. And you bring him back, this is Are we ready to do this? Whoa, we're live, brother. Whoa. Well, that being said, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode four of the Three Wise Men Media Wrestling Challenge, the season finale of the Redemption season. I'm Matthew Priest being joined by Elk. I, I, I mean, this is exciting. This is exciting. I know we started off on the wrong foot. Your best friend, Classy Kyle, is back, who may or may not be a robot. It's a redemption for everybody, Matthew Priest. Athletic Commission said so. He has no business being here. He has no f I tell you what, Priest, it seems like you need to blow off some steam, and there's no better place to do that than this main event grand finale sponsor. Nine Planets Comics and Collectibles the, in the biggest little city in the world, Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Go see Ben. Go see the Guru. Pick up some comic books. Pick up some wrestling collectibles. They got horror movie stuff there. It's a great place for kids and adults that might be kids at heart. Well, we've got some very special footage. Matthew Priest to kick things off. We, we both reached out to Dylan. Yep. One last time, and we got footage of that. So let's get to the footage. I've, I'm very nervous. Okay. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone with less acumen for professional wrestling. You said that a lot, yes. You said it to my father. He's going to beat the crap out of you. Yeah. And you've got to endure this beating, but you have to seize the opportunity to seize the moment when he gets overconfident and overbearing, because he's smarter than you. He's probably more physically imposing than you. Definitely. Definitely stronger. Better looking. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, he's checking all these boxes More confident. Here. Yeah, but what you have is you can outwork him, and you can outsmart him even if he is more intelligent, because he's going to let his guard down because he likes to boast and brag. He does. He does. But... I thought, you know what, this is your first big match, Dylan. It's a, it's a great opportunity here against Dr. Wrecking Ball. You can't go into that match just wearing Zubas. What's wrong with my Zubas? I love the Zubas, but you just can't go into the, you gotta be, gotta be wearing your battle armor. Okay. Yeah, the crotch is all faded. Elk and I decided it would be very fitting for you. For me? For you. Oh, it's my favorite color. Yes. Black. If you're gonna go into a wrestling match, you need to look like a wrestler. And singlet's a great first step. I got, thank you. Thank Okay. All right. I mean, We're not there yet? That's not the only thing I want to give you because Not the only thing. No, no, this means a lot to me. This is this is the backbone to my success when I was a okay. professional wrestler. I'd love to see you to see and wear my boots for this match, Dylan. Oh my. My very first pair of wrestling boots. They're they're I don't know. They're championship caliber boots. 
I don't know. Yeah, you, just, I, you don't have to say anything. I'm not gonna wear these boots. Dylan! What? What are you doing in here, man? I'm trying to get my 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 head straight. You're not even this you're not even in the driver's seat. No, you know I don't drive. Yeah, but whose car is this? I thought it was yours. How'd you get it started? Button. Anyway, what's going on? Look, I just don't think this is working out. I've been doing all the training, I've been learning all these holds, and I'm just punching myself in the face. I'm cheating, I'm getting hurt by old men, and I don't know what the I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a wrestler. You're right. Yeah. Dylan the stagehand isn't a wrestler. No. But you know who is? Who? That guy inside of you. You see, there's a saying in pro wrestling that it's got to be you dialed up to 11 when you step in that ring. So Dylan the stagehand is probably a one or a two. I agree with you. He punches himself on collar and elbow tie-ups for Pete's sake. But the pro wrestler inside of you, that other persona, that gimmick some people call it, that guy's at 11. And that breaks the scale of 1 to 10. So you're even better than you could possibly be. And you just gotta figure out who that guy is. Maybe you need to come up with like a cool name, like Elk, the time traveling caveman. Tell him the stagehand, ah, that's not good. And, and it's not gonna come to you, you know, it's not gonna be something that you're gonna find in the ring. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna find in a hold. It's you gotta look inside, it's gotta be the passion. It's gotta be the love that you have for pro wrestling dialed up to 11. And when you find out what your name's gonna be, it's gonna hit you like a thunderbolt, I promise. Thunderbolt! Wow! What a couple of pieces of footage that was. I tell you what, I had no faith in Dylan versus Dr. Wrecking Ball, Matthew Priest. But when it comes to Dr. Wrecking Ball versus the Thunderbolt Kid, I tell you, I, I can't help but get a little giddy. I'm glad you're giddy. I am very worried. I am very concerned that Dr. Wrecking Ball is going to wipe the mat with this kid. He... he, he He's bit off more than he can chew, and I mean, we, he tried. He just, it just doesn't sink in. He's just dense. He's as dumb as they've come. Well, I tell you what, sometimes a dog bites off more than they can chew, and then they swallow it, and then you take them to the doctor, and they gotta get a surgery, and they pull it out. But sometimes, the dog just poops it out later, and nothing bad happens. I've met dogs, though, with better learning cognition than, than this kid. You can teach an old dog a new trick. You really can. I've done it with mine. I try to teach this kid new tricks, and it just doesn't sink in. Hopefully what Uncle Chase taught him. Hopefully what Atlas Hightower taught him. Hopefully, I mean, how at this point, whatever Crush taught him, maybe he can apply that and, and use it. I don't condone it. I don't condone anything. I don't condone this damn, this damn show. This program has got me at my wit's end, Elk. Well, I, I mean, there's only just one thing left to take do. It to the, I, I, take it to the ring. Thunderbolt Kid. Dr. Rocky Ball. The finale! The finale. Alka, it's time. I, I don't know what to say. It's time. Here, here we go. We got the bell ringing. Dr. Wrecking Ball, uh oh, taking his glasses off. The Thunderbolt Kid Priest. I, I haven't had butterflies this this bad since since the first time I saw a Brontosaurus. Understandably so to have butterflies when you see a Brontosaurus. I, I don't have butterflies, Elk. What I have is just just pure disgust, and I I'm very concerned and I'm very oh. worried. Just that it is right there, just slapping the taste out of his mouth. And Dr. Wrecking Ball. A seasoned veteran, and the only chance Dylan has here is for a Wrecking Ball's ego to cost himself this match. I mean, if there's one Achilles heel that Wrecking Ball has, it's got to be that. He, he's so egotistical, he's so maniacal, that maybe there's a chance here. Oh, he's just getting overpowered, Priest. I, I don't know if I can look at this. Uh, and, and again, it all goes back to leverage. I say it every week, and Dr. Wrecking Ball knows how to play, oh. and that's what a professional is able to do, and he's paint brushes. Uh, do I have to call him the Thunderbolt Kid? Yeah, absolutely you do, Matthew Priest. You know that good wrestlers have good gimmicks. Ultimate Warrior, Ultra Powers, Thunderbolt Kid. I mean, the Thunderbolt Kid is at least wearing the singlet. He's uh -oh. wearing the Zubas. Priest! And, uh, look at... Whoa! Priest, look at this! Oh! 
color me shocked. Oh my gosh, he sends him off. The rope here now. Oh, see, that's a veteran maneuver. Here he comes off the boat, off the rope. Oh, he, he just passed him by. Oh, oh. Trying to take what he learned from Uncle Chase was successful, and then the high tower leapfrog, not so successful. Oh, big and, clothesline. And he got clubbed on his feet, I'll tell you what. Dr. Wrecking Ball, I mean, Thunderbolt Kid's not a small man by any means, but Dr. Wrecking Ball just cleaned his clock with that clothesline. Took him right off of his feet with a huge clothesline. But, I mean, you gotta hand it to the kid here. He, he, he was ducking and diving and dodging and weaving. Uncle Chase, Uncle Chase might have got to him there. Maybe so, but just like any old bear cub, they need their mama when they get in deep water. And, uh... Thunderbolt kids in some deep water and I don't see his mama anywhere around. Yeah, he's really struggling to get up these ropes and now you see Dr. Wrecking Ball trying to blind the poor kid. Heard it tear, tear his retinas out of his sockets here. Oh, this is just, dis oh, now he's choking him in the corner. Oh my gosh. This is, this is it, folks. This is the beginning of the end. You've seen the glimmer of hope that the Thunderbolt oh! kid had and Dr. Wrecking Ball just came in like a racking ball and smashed the Thunderbolt kid in the corner there. Oh, Priest, I don't know if the Thunderbolt kid's gonna... No, he's just a kid! And we're... Oh, no, not a second view! Did we need that? That was probably Brewski or Classy Kyle showing the poor kid's skull. Why'd you have to bring him up? Oh, and now look at Dr. Wrecking Ball. But this is the things that Dr. Wrecking... I mean, you talked about what he has in here. I call it indigestion. You said it's nothing but pure heart it's and pure fight and pure tenacity. And those are the things that's going to give him the only opportunity he has. If Dr. Wrecking Ball continues to be lackadaisical and take his eyes off the prize and take his eyes off the focus, and he's just toying with well, Honorable Kid, and rightfully so. And then oh. the power of Dr. Wrecking Ball. A huge. Slamming him down. And this is it. He's won many bouts with that, too. Oh, this, this what is the despicable. Hell? This is despicable. End the match. You got the kid beat. Thunderbolt oh, kid can't kick. Oh, come, come on. Dr. Yeah, oh, and now he's mocking him. He's mocking him, saying it was a big kick out. You know, I, I, the Thunderbolt kid, you know, he, he's on Dream Street. He, his head's probably in outer space. Probably like Nine Planets Comics is how far out of out of, out of space that's, that this poor kid is. Is Pluto still a planet? I think I, I like to think of it as it's my favorite because it's the smallest and, and and you know oh no what is he Cause, setting cause up? Because that is here? how Doctor Wrecking Ball is treating Thunderbolt Kid right now. He's treating him like Pluto, like he just doesn't belong in the ring, like he doesn't belong as a planet, and he really doesn't. And Doctor Wrecking Ball here is just making a mockery out of this young man. I mean, he planted him, and now he's setting up for. I mean, it's not the people's elbow. I'll tell you it's what. It's the doctor's elbow. Yeah. Oh. ADA loves it when he does this. Oh yes, Thunderbolt Kid. Look at him. He's just dead on the mat. I think that was his just, just reflexes, like how a dead fish flops, even though it's dead. That might. Oh, he's crawling. He's crawling. He's showing that heart that you talked about. And I'll tell you what, Doctor Wrecking Ball making a huge mistake there by wasting time and and it, it just letting his ego get the best of him here and taking Thunderbolt Kid lightly and come on, Kid, get up and fight. Yeah, yeah get up and come fight, on, you son of a bitch. Get up and fight. Let's go, Thunderbolt Kid. Oh, he gouged his eyes. Not like that. I, I don't like it, but oh, he stopped his foot. He's getting some momentum here, Priest. It's been oh, that's the beard hole. That's the beard that hole. Hurts so badly. I had to be crushed, taught him that. We. Oh, another rake to the eyes. What the hell? Keep it going, kid. It's working. It's working. You got to keep rolling, Thunderbolt, kid. Let's see what you got. Oh, a big shoulder block. We got some momentum here, Priest. Well, he ran right through him. And what is the Thunderbolt kid has completely flipped his What is he going to the ropes? What is he doing off the middle rope? What's he going to do? Double sledge to the top. Another view! Right to the crown of oh! the planet of Wrecking Ball. And that will put him on planet Pluto. What's going on? No! Dude, it can't be! I he did it! Do he you did it! In miracle. Yes! Let's get to the ring! I can't believe it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Stupid Wrecking Ball! Oh, you did it! You did it! Oh, 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 no, 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 no! No, the match is over! You won! Yeah, get out of here. It teaches you for ruining our show. Hey, everyone here. I swear I'm going to get my revenge. I did it. You did it. I did it. You even did what we Mom. to do, but yeah. you did it. Mom, I did it.
Did we go off the road? I did. That was so dangerous. Is that cool? That was really cool, Dylan. He did us so proud. That little baby bird, that little boy. He went out there, the Thunderbolt kid. Now he's a Thunderbolt man priest. We, we put that greenhorn through his paces, and he did us so proud. And speaking of green, go to Nine Planet Comics. Their whole comic book store is green. It's, it's a great place to go. I can't believe it, Priest. How do you feel right now? This was a great season. I knew it. I knew it all along. I never lost faith. <laughs> never in the once. Volcano. The whole season. It built up to this moment. It, this might be the proudest moment of my entire life. I'll, I, I've never been more proud of a relative in my it. life. I've never been more proud of you. Your your faith in him never <laughs> faltered Thank once. You. Thank and you, you, so you showed him so many good things. I know. I know. I did. And you, you did too. Yeah, we both did. did I mean, too. in a way, we won this match. It feels like it. And it's just, I can't believe it. The Thunderbolt kid. I mean, if we did that with him, imagine what we could do with somebody with some talent or athletic oh, ability. Only if. It's been only a great if. season. It has truly been a redemption. A redemption for Uncle Chase. A redemption for Caesar Asher. We got Classy Kyle getting redeemed. You and I redeemed. And who more redeemed? Then Dylan, the Thunderbolt kid, he was such a schmuck last season, getting punched in the face, and here he is, top of the world. You know, even if that no good son of a classy Kyle's back, I can't let it completely damper this moment. The Thunderbolt kid did it. I mean, well, who knows what's going to come to you next season? Who knows? On, on, on the Three Wise Men Media Wrestling Challenge. It's been quite the season, folks. Thanks for joining us. Let us know your thoughts in the comment sections. Like, subscribe, share on the social medias. We love all you. We can't wait to see you back next season with more Three Wise Men Media Wrestling Challenge.